This is Susanna Mukumai, and you are listening to the Screw Being Unhappy podcast. In this segment, Coaching Insights, I share the coaching goodness from real coaching conversation so you too can get inspired and take action to make your dreams happen. Recently, my client wanted more clarity on whether she should go ahead with the project she always wanted to do. She has already started, but had doubts if it's the right thing to do and if she should continue because in a couple of months she will be going back to work and will not have as much time as now. She wanted to have certainty that this was the right thing to do. She wanted more clarity and she didn't want to invest all the time and energy in something that might not be successful. Today, I'd like to chat about what to do if you are not sure if you should pursue the project, business or dream you had for a while now and how to deal with the fear of uncertainty. All of us probably ask ourselves this question at some point in our lives. Should I really do this? What if I don't succeed? What if it will be just a waste of time? What if I make fool of myself? I certainly did many times. I still do. You may relate to some of the real life examples here. Should I become a coach and start a coaching business instead of having the security of a full-time job? Should I finally create that lifestyle account I have been thinking about for ages and try to build some following on Instagram? Should I create my product, get it manufactured and sell it on Amazon? Should I keep my blog, which I absolutely adore, alive, even if it doesn't really bring me any money? When my clients bring up this topic of uncertainty, we usually do a couple of things. Each time it's a bit different depending on the unique situation of my client. Today, I'd like to talk more about uncertainty. We humans love certainty, even if it doesn't serve us. This is how we are as humans. We just love certainty. That's how our brains are designed. Can you think of a friend or acquaintance who keeps staying in that relationship that is not really working, yet he prefers to stay in this dysfunctional relationship because of the certainty it provides? How many people stay in their jobs that are not making them happy because of fear of not finding a better job or having an income gap for a couple of months? How many people keep taking courses and learning instead of jumping into action and actually executing what they have been learning for months or even years? Yes, I can't give you the certainty that you'll achieve your dreams. And if somebody does that, maybe I would say watch out for a red flag here. I said this in my TEDx talk, but I'm going to say this again. I can't give you the certainty that your project will be successful or that your business will start generating money within a year. But what I do know is that if you don't try, you are deleting, yes, I said it, deleting the possible successful future from the menu of your life's future options. Is that what you want to do? Do you want to have the certainty of not having that success? If your answer is no, here is a wonderful exercise I use for myself and my clients who usually love it. It comes from the positive intelligence, the coaching framework I often use and have certification in. And you can do it in the form of visualization, which I love doing uh, with myself as well as with my client. But I found also to be effective just asking yourself this question. In 40 or 50 years, what would I think about this dilemma I'm facing now? Should I have done it? The answer can be an instant light bulb moment that gives you the answer and the clarity you are seeking. And that's what exactly what happened to my client a couple of weeks ago. Another helpful rule of thumb is that if this dream or idea is coming to you repeatedly, and even if you brush it off, it eventually comes back. In this case, you might want to explore what is stopping you from pursuing it in real life. Of course, this is just one piece of the puzzle and we often explore this topic with my clients more in depth. 
We delve deeper into the fears that stop them. We dive into how comparisons to other people who might be on completely different journeys are not exactly helpful. And we bring up the success stories from their own lives that show them they can do hard, uncomfortable things with uncertain results. All this put together then creates your jumping point to go into action. This doesn't mean that you suddenly are certain of your success or your fears are gone. No, you will still have the fears and no assurance of success. But you will also know that this is something you really want to pursue and you will have the power to start doing it. I hope this was helpful and you got motivated to either jump into action or start exploring what is holding you back in pursuing that nagging yet exciting dream you have been having for a while. If you're a bit stuck doing this alone, I'd love to support you in this. Let's have a conversation and see where it goes. In the podcast, in the show notes or below this video, you will find the link. Just click on it, pick a date that works for you and let's chat and make this happen for you.